Good Tuesday morning, Mount Off Church family and friends. Hope everybody's having a, a great start to the week. I'm going to get my screen pulled up here. Um, hope you got to be with us on Sunday and uh, wonderful message, um, Life of Victory in 2023 um, and talking about the comfort, God of all comfort. Um, yeah, I hope you got to be with us. If not, go back and watch Pastor's message the Lord gave him Sunday and uh, can't brag on his devotion for Monday because uh, I'm recording this a little early. I'm going to be a little tied up uh, Monday and Tuesday with some things going on. And uh, so I'm recording actually Sunday afternoon. Um, so hope everybody's having a great start to the week on Tuesday. Hope my Tuesday is going good and yours as well. Um, so the God of all comfort. Um, Pastor mentioned a, a quote at the start of that uh, to ask ourselves the question, you know, we have to determine uh, where it is that we can find comfort, right? And, and so we're, and, and it's, it's a fact. We, we are all going to go through, uh, hard times, uh, in our lives and that we're going to be searching for comfort. Um, and the things of this world will not satisfy that. They will not quench that, that hurt, um, for that rock solid peace that we're looking for. Um, so I really enjoyed, uh, the message Sunday, um, just feel like God spoke to me in so many, so many ways uh, with that message Sunday that he brought through the pastor. Um, in 2 Corinthians, I've got 1 Corinthians on the screen here. It should be 2 Corinthians. Uh, 2 Corinthians uh, verse one or chapter 1, verse 3 through 4. I want to read those. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, okay, who comfort, uh, comfort us, uh, us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. So the point number three of stewardship uh, Sunday is what really spoke to me um, the most, I would say. Um, I got so much out of that message, but I think point number three really stuck out to me. Uh, what can we do with God's comfort? You know, and what are we? So let's look at what I highlighted here in this verse. Um, and in verse four, it says that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. So to be able to comfort other people, our stewardship. Uh, and Pastor brought out some good points with that point three that I that I really liked. I wrote those down. And, you know, I think this is something in my life. I've, I've shared this uh, before. Um but one of the things that always got me, um, people didn't mean anything by it, uh, would always try to be a help for a comfort. But, you know, when Lauren was diagnosed uh, at an early age um, and people would come up to me and say, you know, we love you. We're praying for you. I know you're hurting. I know how you feel. All those done really good until that part that said, I know how you feel because there were really times that, and I know everybody means well by that, but there were times that I wanted to say, really, who, which, which one of your children had this? Um, and it's, you know, we, and we all, you know, and again, those people were just, they were trying to comfort, uh, and trying to say what they could. Pastor said one of the things, you know, sometimes it's not about what we say. We can't give advice if we've not been there. Uh, it's just about being there. Um, and God will always make a way to provide for you when you're just there for someone. It's just being there. Uh, just show up. Uh, I preached the message one time um, with talking about Moses being on top of the mountain and Aaron and her were on each side of him. And as he would hold the staff up, they would win the battle. Um, but whenever his arms would get heavy and tired and his, he, he would drop the staff, they would begin to lose the battle. And, it, you know, Aaron and her went to the top of the mountain with him and they slid a rock under him. They got on each side of him. They stayed up his arms. And but part of that, the, I think the way I titled that message when I preached that a few years back was just climb the hill. Aaron and her never said a word to him. Uh, the Bible doesn't record anything that Aaron and her said to Moses when they were on top of that mountain. It's just climb the hill. Just go there. There'll be something that. God will open a door for you to do to be able to help someone. They didn't have to say anything to him. Um, we just need to be there. 
but being able to comfort someone and be that conduit, there's some reasons why. And, and here's four points. And, and I wrote these down from Sunday. You are the expert of your own experience. When we went through what we went through with Lauren, uh, there were times that, you know, people were diagnosed with cancer or going through chemo or something after that. We were able to talk to them about that experience, going to St. Jude and what you could expect down there. Um, empathy. You can understand their thoughts and feelings. Um, when someone, you know, there uh, a few years back, someone could talk about losing a parent. And I knew in my heart that they were hurting. And but I could not understand that feeling at that time of what it's like to lose a parent. And then after my dad passed away, now I understand that. I, I understand that there's there's not many pains that come along that that match that. Um, you can advise them because you know what they need. You know the experience. You know to be able to tell them exactly what they need to do. And you can assure them. You can say, look at me. God can bring you through. Look what God has done with me. Um, look what God done in Lauren's life. Uh, look what God done in my marriage. Look what God done in my finances. Look what God done in my job. There's so many things that we can be a conduit for to comfort others. Okay, hope you guys are having a great week. I hope this uh, little devotion brings you something. Look for someone today. Uh, look for someone today to share your experience with. Look for someone to climb the hill with. Look for someone to show a little comfort to. I love you guys and hope you have a great week. Remember to pray for me. And as always, I'm praying for you. God bless.